The work we do in the Biological Threat Reduction Program is, is complicated, and it's difficult to communicate it sometimes to uh, outside audiences, and I think our adversaries like Russia can take advantage of that with some of the propaganda that they put out. The Biological Threat Reduction Program is working in 27 countries. We feel this disinformation and misinformation is done just to really exploit divisions. We've had accusations that some research projects were being used to create threats, not to identify threats and reduce them. Ulterior motives are being injected where none exist. We've built these capabilities for the partners, their central reference labs for research. They publish everything they do. They invite the international community into their laboratories. They're working on behalf and the benefit of the people of their respective countries. Kazakhstan, like many of the other republics in the former Soviet Union, had biological weapons. Russia media has attacked the central reference laboratory that was built by the Biological Threat Reduction Program. The laboratory is there to both store dangerous biological pathogens from the Soviet era and to conduct research by Kazakhstani scientists in order to prevent the spread of new biological pathogens. Work in Ukraine is essential to help safeguard Europe from some of the naturally occurring diseases that uh, could really undermine security across the region and ultimately to the United States. There's, you know, conflict with Russia. They've always been very close ethnically and you know, socially. Now they've had a shift and they're looking to the West. In Georgia, one of the primary targets of Russian disinformation is the Luger Center. They were putting articles in the newspaper saying our engagement there was basically to use them as a proxy for a biological weapons program. Their purpose is to make the Georgian people uh, and people in the region afraid of this cooperation. You know, scientists from all of the countries, they are thinking uh, on one way, uh, to make uh, something better for uh, people, better health, better security. The key thing to remember is that Georgia desires to have a strong strategic partnership with the United States to integrate into Western institutions, and Russia does not like that. Everything what is blamed from Russia, this is the only, it has only the political platform. We organized several times the visit of the Russian journalists here, the tours in Lugar Center of the diplomats sitting here in Georgia. There was a 22-person team of international experts who came to visit the Luger Center to carry out a peer review. In November of 2018, Russian experts were invited to participate in this peer review. They declined to do so. We give possibility to all these very high-level specialists for the many countries to see everything in the Luger Center. This team was absolutely in the consensus. Uh, they say we are make here just peaceful work for public health issues. And I'd like to invite everybody who wants to be informed about the Luger Center and what we are doing there, including Russians. And they can come anytime. None of these projects are classified. We're always looking for our scientists that we partner with to, to publish. We combat disinformation with information and with good strategic communications. The United States has humanitarian concerns that are beyond uh, really power concerns. And I think it's important for the United States to continue that kind of work. We have complete transparency in the type of work we do. This is a way that, that we help counter the propaganda that we get from Russia. Wherever we go in the world, it's the same approach. We're trying to work with a partner to do positive, uh, meaningful research and capability providing, and there's, there's no secrets to how we approach that. 